Hey Pisces and welcome to your tarot love reading for the one that got away. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here Pisces, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Of course these messages are general guys so please just keep that in mind throughout the spread. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here where the show more section is along with all the information you might need okay so the reading again here is intended for pisces ascendant sun moon venus and rising and of course all of you cross watchers are welcome as well so let's go ahead and take a look and see what messages are coming in for you here pisces for the one that got away here oh okay bear with me okay i've got a few cards here okay the two of swords king of wands the full, I did have a card that fell out here. Okay, page of swords, six of swords here. Okay, so a lot of air energy here. The one that got away, you're still thinking about this person. This person is still thinking about you. Strong air energy dominates your tarot spread here, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. If it's not an air energy, maybe this person has air within their natal chart. But I feel like there's still some sort of connection, okay? A physical disconnection, perhaps. The two of you are maybe separated by time and space. Um, perhaps you're blocking one another, whether on a mental level or an emotional level. But there's still some sort of ties. There's still some sort of unseen connection from what I can see here, Pisces. You're still thinking about this person, okay? You're still wondering um, what could have been, maybe... I feel like you're not able to let go of this person or this person is not able to let go of you because I feel like you're still in each other's energy field. Um, this person may have walked away from you. I feel like maybe this person has turned your back on you here. It feels like this person, um, they played a very significant chapter here in your life. I feel like there's unfinished business. I feel like there's unresolved feelings here. You're hoping or this person is hoping to release your energy. But I feel like the universe here... Um, may bring the two of you back together because like I said I feel like there's still something that's not done that's not completed that's not manifested here between the two of you I can see that you haven't had any contact with this person or they haven't reached out um, or they haven't responded here to either of your messages or calls here um, this person may be someone whom I feel like you, maybe you've known this person um, for quite some time but I feel like you can't shake them off. What is it? You cannot shake them off. The, the, there is an intense connection here. There's a very intense connection. You've got a, a very strong mental connection. You're still thinking about one another. You're, for you, he Pisces, this is the one that got away, the one that you could have had. But this person is thinking about you too, and I feel like they feel the same for you as well. It's like neither of you reaching out, neither of you are saying anything. But when you do connect, I feel like the last time you did speak, or the, there was a conversation with the two of you, or maybe this is it's happened more on more than one occasion, but I feel like you guys are, it's not that you're disagreeing with one another, it's just that something didn't quite connect, didn't quite come together here, from what I can see. Maybe you've had some sort of disagreement, maybe the two of you didn't see eye to eye on something here, maybe you have, I feel like maybe you have different energy fields here, and this person doesn't quite understand you, or you don't quite understand this person fully, but there's definitely... There's definitely some sort of connection here, okay? With the full card here, I'm thinking that there is a leap of faith that's needed here, okay? You've got the judgment and the tar um, and the chariot here, tarot, okay? Judgment, now, the judgment card here is suggestive of things having ended between the two of you, of course, but there is, wherever there is an ending, there is also a new beginning, so I do feel like for some of you, what lies on the horizon is a new start with this person, a new chapter here. It's very likely that although this person is not communicating with you here, there will be an incoming message from them that's being delivered to you. I feel like it's them heralding your attention here, so I feel like this person might very well, you might hear from this person. They may pick up the phone and give you a call, or they may shoot you a message. However, this communication will only come to you, Pisces, and this is important after they come to some sort of awakening, whether it's an emotional awakening, a mental awakening, or some sort of realization like, okay, they still think about you, you might have been the one that got away, you might you might have been the one that could have happened. There's something here that got in in the way of your connection, Pisces, from what I can see. But I don't feel like this person fought hard enough for you or you didn't fight hard enough for this person which is a shame because it feels like 
it had a lot of potential, but it kind of was wasted. It kind of, uh, the potential he wasn't fully realized of, um, from what I can see. Now with the chariot, I do feel like, okay, if this person reaches out to you, Pisces, I feel like it's, it's probably a good idea for you to sort of, if you ignore this person, I feel like you're going against um, your true feelings, your true desires here, because I feel like there is still an interest. This person might have cut off contact with you, they might have ghosted you, they might have hurt you, they might have said something that really cut skin deep here. However, I feel like underneath, you know, um, the complexities of layers here, I feel like this person is still, there's still something there, there's still an interest, okay? And you can deny it, but you still think about them, they're on your mind here. So I do feel like with the chariot here, when this person reaches out to you, I feel like it's the universe's way of trying to, you know, um, trying to give the two of you another go, try, um, trying to give you another chance here to make things right here, or trying to give you a second start for some of you. This may be a second, third um, chance, but I'm seeing that with the chariot, the universe wants you to act, okay? So maybe this is, for some of you, this action might mean that it's an action that's going to lead to closure. For others of you, this action indicates to me that you need to act on your desires or you need to explore this connection, okay, for once and for all. If there's something there, explore that. If there isn't, well, at least you would have tried and then you can cast it aside and you can put it behind you. From what I can see, Pisces, there's definitely something worth exploring, okay? You've got the moon and the page of cups. Definitely, um, this person is also in two minds about it. I mean, I get your fecal nature, but I feel like for some reason this person is... Um, They've not made up their mind. They've been thinking about you and they've been wanting to communicate and wanting to reach out to you, but this hasn't happened yet. It will happen. They'll come in and I, like I said, it's sort of like it'll arrive to you very unexpectedly. Um, you'll hear from this person when you least expect it. And again, they will only reach out to you here when they've come to some sort of awakening, something here, some sort of realization, something here being illuminated for them here, okay, and I like that the Six of Wands here has showed up, and then on this side you've got the Age of Cups, uh, sorry, the, uh, the Eight of Cups, the Age of Cups, uh, which tells me that, look, I feel like this person had to walk away, they had to pull away from you, Pisces, purely because I feel like they had business of their own to handle, or if this is you that's walked away from them, I feel like you walking away from them was actually an eye-opener, and it made them realize a few things about you, uh, and that is that this, the depths of this connection is worth diving into, worth exploring, and I feel like them pulling away the first time will make them come back, and I feel like what it will do the second time is it will strengthen the connection, and that desire to explore this connection on that anticipation to get to know you on a more deeper intimate level I feel like that's really going to heighten so essentially what I'm getting at is I feel like it didn't it had to fall apart Pisces to come back together in a stronger way okay so sometimes yeah things don't necessarily work out according to your plans but what's happening is in the grand scheme of things it's all working out according to the plans of the divine here plans of the universe and there you have it that is the messages for you here in relation to the one that got away the one that you could have had please feel free to leave behind a like um, a comment um, or feel free to share this um, please don't hesitate to reach out if you are interested in a personalized tarot reading i will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the week so do stay tuned guys thank you again for your time and attention greatly appreciated pisces bye for now